still confident. And would have like deep, dark, revealing secrets that they've always wanted to get off their chest. No, I just ugly. Wait, wait, wait. What's his name? Whenever Desi comes over, I repeatedly punch him in the face so he's asleep. You're a heavy sleeper. <laughs> Dude, it, if it, you it, punch it, him hard enough, he just stays asleep. Sometimes he stops breathing or something. I mean, you, you punch him to bring him back to life, so I mean, it's not yeah, too bad. Yeah, let's go with that. He has the punch of life. Welcome back to the podcast. There's been no time whatsoever since the previous lapse. <laughs> I don't know when this is coming out. But I want you to know that it's coming out exactly after the last one. Which makes sense in context, but not really. Except this time, uh, Mac is actually here. Yes! Oh so, shit! You know what that means? You know what that means? None of us no time has can passed. talk shit about Mac and. No, because he's in the room. But no time has passed, he so he still hasn't gone to his fucking health yet. <laughs> I just <laughs> fucking <laughs> finished saying. <laughs> right. I can reach you over the table. I mean, you like to do a bit of reach around here. <laughs> So, I've got some notes here, we've got a lot of stuff to cover. I'm not going to go into too many details, but uh, Jesse and I have come up with a fictional country. Yeah. Called Kakistan. Pakistan. How many cucks live in Kakistan? Uh, so far two. <laughs> so, I mean, that's... Wait, there's got to be three. I feel like, for the whole point of Kakistan, there's got to be... But, um, yeah, yeah so three people if you randomly uh, hear us say about Pakistan, Pakistan, we're well aware that it's not an actual country. Because there was a joke on the internet to try and uh, convince people that Kekistan was a real place. Yeah, yeah so... Um, but yeah, uh, with Scarecrow, uh, his super is that he opens up a tear in reality and all of a sudden the hook comes out and grabs you and pulls you in. And it's just a big version of Scarecrow and he's just like flopping you around on a chain. That's kind of lame. Yeah! And I couldn't have done so. Well, okay. I haven't seen it. So what is your what is your idea? What would be cooler than that? Um, well, if, because if he comes to any, no, I know, I know, I know. This is what you're hoping for. You fucking little minds at work. Okay, so it would be better if like um they do like lots of birds and shit. You know, it's like um you're like in a cornfield running through, and then that's like, what it's I like the scarecrows See, that's popping cool. up, and it's like then there's like a whole bunch of them just chasing you, murderous <laughs> scarecrows. And then it's like, basically... You <laughs> get caught in it. They have like fucking, like, really good AC and they have resistance to bludgeoning and shit. They're in, <laughs> resistance to slashing. They... Yeah. I can't open that fucking scarecrow. And, um, and then it's like, like, you basically get caught and they just like, fucking like, shank you. Well, so that was not what I had in mind. No. No. Mine, so I, I guess, when I said, oh man, this is what, what most people would like, I guess I was wrong. What I had in mind was that for every character, it would literally just zoom in onto their eyes and just go like and then be their fear. their fear. And then like at the end of their fear, it just zoom back out and their health would be gone into that point. And so it's just like <laughs> And then it just comes what's actually happening, he just walks up and starts stabbing them. <laughs> he just, just, just keeps keep shaking them. You're a cuck, Bruce. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, he's you're a cuck. <laughs> oh man. He's got it just He just opens up his passport and it says nationality cuck is down. It just zooms into fucking Batman's eyes and it's just his parents gave him a shot and just his dad's lying there after his shot. You're a cut, Bruce. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh man. But no, I had no idea. Yeah, I thought it would be cool if it was like, because his whole thing is like fear and he's like, oh, what's his super gonna be? <laughs> it's like the Green Lantern one where he makes a giant fucking shoot. Would you be scared if you're attached to a meat hook being thrown around? If I. Okay, so here's well, the thing. Here's it's the thing. Safe. I see Scarecrow walk in. I'm like, okay. Anything that happens now is not real. Like, I think anyone that sees the scarecrow, if you know who the scarecrow is there, like if you walk into a room and there's gas in the vents, that's what you're So when you're seeing the well, like, thing in your life, be like, oh, I know it's not real. No, because at that point you're still reliving something that's fucking horrific to you. Even if you know this isn't true, it's still your worst fear. It preys on the fear centers of the brain. And so it's like, if I walk into a room and the scarecrow is there, it's like, this one, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm like, okay, well, this is the this is the bad way to spend a Saturday. But you know, maybe it, just, and then maybe he turns dry really and he's like, Roo, Roo. I'm like, okay, like that's scary. But like, what, what, what if he actually is though, Stuart? Actually, giant. You want to be actually giant? Yeah. What, what if he's actually giant? taking that's too much of that Joker fucking serum? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's actually tight. Tight serum. Oh, where was it? Fuck. Well, that's dumb. But anyway, that's yeah, well, that's it. That's a good idea, but just... Who are you? 
Are you really right? Hey guys, let's spend like fucking yeah. three times the normal budget for the for the fucking like, skip yeah. animation. <laughs> just for this one yeah, time yeah. that no one will ever use in this low yeah. tier is trash. We don't know what tier he is yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's probably right. He uses the hook to do it. No one with the hook is anywhere near high tier. You're right, right. Was. <laughs> yeah, bro. He's not. He's fucking trash now. So, because they fixed his book, by which means that they made it worse. But that's a... You just gotta get it. That book. That's a game? Yeah. That's so a lucky game. you're telling me there's a new one. Oh man, the book you never made with a YouTube now! I can't want to do every single anime I bought! What the fuck? This game is useless! I can't get free instant kills anymore! Oh my god! Yeah. You're quite a skill now, it's trash! Get fucking uh, school, Jesse! Get fucking school. So, I mean, <laughs> I don't think anyone's particularly going to care about this one, but Call of Duty is going back to World War II. Oh, what's that? We need money. <laughs> what's we that? We like Butterfield's idea. Money. But yeah, so I mean, because you know, um, having all your three studios do the exact same game. Mmm, that's quality. It, I, well, I mean, I guess, uh, fucking, the new Battlefront game is apparently having uh, three studios work on it. One's doing the single player, one's doing the multiplayer, and then like, uh, I think that the other one's just doing like locations and stuff like that, but there's like, what? yeah, like one's doing level design, one's doing the single player campaign, and one's doing just multiplayer. just just background. Like uh, I think they're doing like uh, level design, and they're making all like, oh, we need someone to work on the trees. And so it's like, okay, well, this is the studio that makes all the other stuff. I spent six months on <laughs> one I'm in the south of France. I need like at least three more months to map out. Don't call. Me. Is Seychelles in the South of France? Is Seychelles? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. You know what I think South of France is? I always think Seychelles. I, think Seychelles is I feel like yeah. you are correct, but I'm not 100% on that. If you're from France, then Seychelles particular is no. Yeah. And well, we had another look it up. <laughs> um, so why don't we just Google, guys? Yeah, that's France. To the France, right, <laughs> is uh, getting a new game. Why? But it's but he's dead. So in the Meiji era. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's a, it's, so it's a sequel to the one where he's in the Meiji era, where it's his ancestor that's. Oh, like, there was one before. Yeah, but we didn't get it. And so it's like, 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 we're releasing a sequel, and it's got to be set with uh, Sherlock Holmes, the English guy. And so he'll use a little bit the of English. English guy, doesn't exist. Not Sherlock Holmes. Not Sherlock Holmes. It's also a weird distinction. Made the wrong mistake before. Um, all that, kids. Don't. <laughs> uh, so, uh, when it comes to that game, I was like super excited for the previous one never came out, and then like oh, this one uh, about the whole localization thing. Um, Give us There's money. certain factors that are preventing us from localizing. They put Nazis these. in the game again, didn't they? <laughs> Nazis just walking around, just like, oh man, isn't this the correct way of life? And it's like there's certain factors in this game that are like. So wait, you're telling me the Nazis came to invade the Meiji era? Yeah, there's that, that, one, there's that, that one, Japanese uh, element. There's that one yeah. case where things might have to prove the Nazis are right, and never they did. They did nothing right. There's a little bit of a controversial case in this one. I'm having trouble bringing it out. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I like how it's like set in the major era, but it's like he's solving the future crimes. But uh, isn't that what we're trying? That's to where it's doing. Are we trying to solve, solve future, future crimes? crimes? Yeah. Um, but <laughs> so there was uh, a Phoenix Wright anime that came out. Uh, I'm just going to defer to you, Jesse. Is it worth watching for the people? No, like sunflowers. I like sunflowers. It was a. It was a nice okay, so, 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 so let's just sell a personal experience to it. Well, I was right, he was right. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah. So, when you think of sunflowers in an intro, what do you think? Think of, uh. Murder. Now, I mean, I don't mean to bring you back to fucking art class here, <laughs> but that's what we're doing, apparently. Summer, spring, sunshine. In it. A... That's what I just Am I just fucking crazy for knowing this? <laughs> I feel like you are. Well, Stuart was like, oh man, why, why do they put fucking sunflowers in the sun? I was like, well, in the language of flowers, sunflowers is friendship and joy and everything. Yeah. And whose first reaction was, oh well, fucking in the language of flowers. Why do you know that? You didn't even study to me. Because I read a fucking art. book once in a while, Mac. You didn't even study to me art books. That's why you fucking read it, okay? It's true. You're a fucking, you read it. You, read, you brought a book to me just today. <laughs> he brought a book, he didn't read it. I did read it. <laughs> I can't read it. So Super Bomberman R for the Switch uh, actually has Pyramid Head DLC for Super <laughs> Bomberman, and people are just like, that's 
weird uh, that you'd do that. Like, it's going to get you. And it's just like, uh, with this and other things, digital sales last year have actually been the highest that they've ever been in history. So more people are buying digitally and then going into a store and buying it just like, oh, I bought games I bought digital. So like, can, <laughs> uh, do you think that we're going to... I, I, really don't, I don't feel like... I think it is laziness, but at the same time it's convenience. It's not like... Well, they lead into the same picture. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just also, like... Also, you're not, you're not fucking supporting those stingy fucking cunts at EB Games. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, see... At EB Games? You talk shit one more time, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> fucking take your house. I'm fucking store now. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep buying it on my own. Hey, thanks for your Oh look, uh, I'm going online and uh, buying a shit to give. What? <laughs> 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 oh, I can't buy that in my car. Yeah, I just like imagine like, and they're sitting at this like table and they're like watching Jesse and it's just like, what's making this guy not come into our store? <laughs> <laughs> there he is, officer. Get him. <laughs> or <laughs> get him, or get three of his friends for the same problem. <laughs> Or at least it's on the uh, fucking Canadian EB Games. Salut, bienvenue EB Games. But yeah, it would be like fucking, I don't know, like, I, I can see a future where there's not as many uh, game cases around to buy, like physical games, but I don't think they're going to disappear entirely. There's like, I don't think so. I'm an old like, man, I like a physical books. copy of my games. Uh, did you get Halo Wars 2 in physical or digital? Physical. Because I heard that they were even promoting That's stuff like if you get it digital, you got it a couple of days early. Yeah, but I'm like, I don't fucking care. I didn't even play it for like two days because I was working after it came out. So, but glued to my house. There you go. Well, was it decent? Yeah, it's enjoyable. I said it's. Yeah, I enjoyed the first one. The second one, the campaign was alright. It left it very open ended for more DLC. And that seems to be the way of things. Kyo wins that fight. <laughs> Jesse, like the way the writer was just like, he's just like, yeah, <laughs> whatever he's saying. Um, so with all those sales being up, I, I don't know. Uh, I I had a gripe, and I was talking to Jesse about this earlier with Street Fighter Five. Yeah, stop talking to Jesse. I had like Street Fighter Five. It took two days. It's like, yeah, alive because like when you buy the disc. The disc only has 700 megabytes on it. And it's like, oh yeah, also there's like 30 gigs of downloads. And like, it's like Final Fantasy like, 7 had like 3 discs. <laughs> yeah, but it, we have a Blu-ray disc, but no, you know, a small early 2000s USB, that's what we need. Um, I don't know why they keep pushing this dead game anyway. Uh, like Street Fighter V, I don't... I'm so glad that about it. I don't like... Uh, that's coming up later. I don't like Street Fighter V's practices. I don't like the, the way that they're going about selling it to people. Oh, with the characters? With all the characters. I don't like that either. Um, I, I'm, I can see where I'd be considered a hypocrite because I do like uh, Killer Instinct, but I feel like their model is like, you can go out, you can buy the individual characters you want, and it comes with the stage, it comes with everything, and... With Street Fighter Five, they try much. they treat like yeah they try to alleviate that by saying like oh look you can earn fight money, but as you would know Macker as well, one you can't get fight money unless you're online, and if your like internet connection messes up for a second, you get booted out of whatever you're doing to the menu, uh, and number two fight money that you get for fight, fight money exactly I'm the fight money so much what happened the fight money that you get for winning an online ranked match is 500 fight money. It costs 100,000 to get a character. Yeah, that's just ridiculous, bro. And it was, it's like, that's 200, 200 wins, and you get nothing for losing. And it's just like, I get that they're like, yeah, but you can get the character, or oh, I mean, like, so I can get 200 wins for each of the character, and it's like, but then there's like, oh yeah, it's like five bucks if you just wanted to buy the character. Yeah, but it's like, they're five dollars for like a character, but it's like, uh, Killer Instinct was like two bucks. Yeah. If that, like a I dollar. I seven for mine. But Which character did you get? Uh, t Hawk. Was it not on the week of rotation? Because if you get the, the week that, or the person that's out that week, you get it for cheap. No, no, no. Got cracked to it. I mean, the only one that was really expensive was Killgore, and they were using that to raise money for the thing. For the lie, yeah. Yeah. 
But uh, they made a big mistake there where it's like they released Kilgore and they're like, we're going to release him to raise money because we're going to put it into the, the winning pot at Evo. And then they got, didn't get put on Evo. They got voted off for two different Smash Brothers. <sighs> So, and then that's right, because then, and then those Smash Brothers players went and just beat up and stole other people's shit. That's right, they have fucking great. <laughs> Thanks, Evo, you know. The story that Ryan's talking about, like, they literally just beat up people. Yeah, yeah. They were, uh, I, someone, I can't remember, I might be Justin Long, I can't recall, to be honest. But someone was at a Smash tournament, and uh, they stole all his money. Uh, like his winnings and everything, they stole his bag. They he went to the tournament, they beat him up, stole everything. Yeah, yeah, and it was just like, good on you, Smash community. Well, wasn't that story of the other guy that's like, he got pretty fun at the tournament, he's like, oh man, my fucking 3DS broke, can I borrow someone else? I was like, no, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That guy that was in, because they're like, okay, it's like the, the Smash tournament, and it's like, oh, my 3DS broke, can I go and switch it with someone in the crowd? Like, no, like, no, no, you can't. And so it's like... Or, or the fact that they don't have, like, just a spare... Well, now they're yes. doing the Wii U version of Smash. Uh, <laughs> which is apparently better, because it's like... But fuck. Frozen one! Frozen one! I'm coming! Frozen one! I'm coming! There you go, Joe. He's coming. Always. Ryan, <laughs> you and, uh... Jesse. Stop looking. Prove me with Jesse. Well, you're gonna understand why. <laughs> I how Jesse feels. And that gets, you, I want you to try and guess why this might be a bad idea. Now, these two probably know already. So Marvel is a. Uh, so it's already a bad idea. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, so no. next Marvel is a uh, doing a secret Bitch. wars kind of thing. Okay. They've they already done that. So they're doing a Hydra takeover. Uh, so it's like, oh, which one of these? We're having a Hydra takeover event. You know what? You should decorate your store like Hydra, or dress up like a Hydra mm -hmm. like... So like Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> but they're green and yellow. So... But you're still dressed as a Nazi. Do you see how we not only had this discussion for like, a minute, and we're like, minute. that's a bad idea, because there's a lot of like, comparisons that could be made. Well, no, is so it Hydra just Nazis? Well, yeah. Like, that's where they began, they're like a subdivision of like, the Nazis. Yeah, so Marvel was like, okay, for this event, to try and promote it, guys. Uh, if you can, at your store, put the like, Hydra symbol on your chest. Well, the Hydra symbol's different, because then it's just like a skull of octopus tentacles. Yeah, but they use that... It's James Bond's... Octopus. No, what's it called? The, the evil group. No, isn't that like old school Batman? Spectre. Yes. But like, uh... I feel like, uh, are you talking about like the spider? I thought it was like mm. an octopus over the world, it was like evil. Um, because I feel like that was the villain from the spider uh, movie serial. Maybe the other octopus. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, so, right. Marvel, and especially in the USA, they were like, okay guys, go out, decorate your stores, dress up as Hydra, like, uh, soldiers, dress, and then, uh, walk down, down the street, and fucking pull, you know. That and one so, guy's like, Finally, I can wear my uniform again. Well, Ryan. <laughs> oh my god, did you just fucking know something? <laughs> well, Ryan. Uh, one guy actually went to social media and was just like, yeah, I love this. And when you look into his account, it says, like, white supremacist and shit like that. And he was the only one after, because I was just like scrolling down to see what the reactions was. He was like one of the only guys that was like, yeah, cool, looking forward to the Hydra has a good uniform. And you actually <laughs> click on his like Twitter account, and this is like white supremacist is one of his things. See, I know Marvel's saying that they come out and said that the this whole diversity is sort of thing didn't work. This is going in the complete opposite direction. <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> diversity didn't work. Let's go straight to white supremacy. Fucking <laughs> 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 okay, hell. I mean, Jesus we didn't get them on our side, so we can probably get these guys. Jesus Christ. Well, but, the headlines are right, guys. But you can see like some people were just like, yeah, well, my granddad was in the Holocaust. And uh, I'm not exactly gonna be too fond of making my store like a Nazi store. Yeah, I think I might skip this event. Yeah, I mean, well, I can say just like putting out like a big picture of like the hydras. Yeah, but yeah, you could do that, I suppose. But it's like if you wear the uniform. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, like, you stop there. <laughs> That's where you stop. But uh, yeah. Mind you, we Pit. also like Zeon. We do like Zeon. Zeon forever. You guys, like gravity like doesn't hold back. I'm talking too surely. I meant we. Fuck you, players. Oh, you didn't want to be grouped with him before, Nathan. Hey, so right. 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 I choose my battles, alright? I don't think it's easy. They're not like, you know, the space guys. 
I'm on Charles Tanner. Anyway, so I mean, with with Marvel, they've only pretty much a lot of their shit is fan. Like the new Ghost Rider got fucking cancelled after five issues. Didn't get to finish its run. Um, you make it sound it's bad. Oh shit! But um, uh, Star Wars has been I think that's been really holding them up. Well, and the fact that you know it's like fucking useless event after it's rebooted, useless event, rebooted again. Yeah, but they've done that before. And they'll do it again. <laughs> so, the Guardians of the Galaxy two apparently has. Ah, uh, volume two, Stuart. Oh, you're right. I don't do shit. Ah, uh, so it's like you booked that have actually <laughs> have five after credit scenes. What? Jesus Christ. How many is too much? Because you guys all have seen more Marvel movies than I have. How many after credit scenes is too many? Two. Two? Is too many? One. Two, two, two is all right. Like that. Stop fucking sh- no. show us. If you don't have a fucking movie, show us the whole movie. King Kong had two. And one was uh, one they were going to cut out. Like the new King Kong. Yeah, Skyline. Skyline. Had one. Yeah, had two. And one. They were the same. Oh, do you, do you mean like the, the partial ones during the, or the one that... They had um, when John C. Riley's character got seen go home. That was part of the credits. Yeah, that was part of the credits. Yeah. yeah. And then you got... I wouldn't... Say. During the credits is fun. Yeah. During the credits is fun because it's like... You're watching that. You, yeah. You're still sitting down when the fucking credits start and the guy comes up and like, oh, we're doing the thing now. They'll just be... Keep, see, it, it'll go one... Like, thing, it'll be like three-hour movie and then you watch the credits and like, now for part two. You do realise part of the three so hours of the movie... Intermission. Like is the old credits. Yeah, the credits would be the intermission. Oh. But the credits cut, count as part of the time. Of the, like, the, the running time. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you got a three hour movie plus this. No, it's just. Yeah, three hours of actual movie. So. Never get that. Two is too many or two is acceptable? I think two is. You know, you're pushing it. Well, that depends. On what, particularly? It depends on how long, like, the one. If, like, they do it, like, during the credits. Right. Like, how long that goes. Okay. If yeah. like, that goes, like, all the credits. Just, and the just, fucking, just fucking put the movie in the movie, guys. <laughs> I feel you can do one, and that's because it's like... Not every single fucking time, though. Yeah. Not, well, like, if you're one of those superhero movies, I feel like you know when you get an into it's like... They want to make you sit through the credits somehow, because most people, obviously, when the credits start, they're like... Oh, it's up. Up and go. Credits are mainly just used for people to be like, look, I did work on that, you can see my name in the credits. But they, Disney's made it into a way of like, no, you have to sit through, you have to see everyone who worked on it, and then you get a little bit more. Okay. Okay. I'm fine it's with, with one. A pointless gimmick. I'm fine with one, but it can't be like. I, I feel like, especially when they're just like, oh man, we're gonna have a heck of a day tomorrow, and then they just look out the window and it's fucking doomsday, just walking around like chokes. Yeah, and and all it is, it's just, it's just literally, oh, you stay to the credits, you're special. You think so? Yes, that's all the fuck it is. That's the reason why. The reason why you stay for the end of the credits. Like, oh yeah, I saw the end of the credits because I'm a, I'm a true fan. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Just be one of those. Show shitty... them snowflake game on. <laughs> those shitty cuts. Fucking show us the yes, fucking. Yes, you are, Jesse. Everyone, uh, it's like oh, like everyone's gonna stay for the fucking credits. So everyone feels it's it's fucking pointless. It just aggravates it's, me. It's like weird. well, I mean, if you do that, it's like to do that begin with the feel special. I would things. rather just say fuck you, go ahead and watch it on fucking YouTube. <laughs> It's like we could do it enough to kind of see. It would be like you walk somewhere and we completely different location. Then I walk there and you're just like, hey Ryan. And they're like, hey, ha. end credits. So we're doing like, what is it, the room <laughs> with Tommy the show? Hi, Mark. Hi, doggy. So we're going to get into the part that I've been trying to do the whole thing, which is uh, we're going to talk about some wrestling stuff. I know we had a bit of deviation with the. Uh, whole page thing before. I got a couple of well, things. Well, what's going on this week in wrestling, Joe? Well, it's a fucking long week. So, uh, TNA no longer exists. Dana! Uh, they've been bought out of there now. Any trace of TNA is gone, they call themselves Impact by The last Andrew. remnants Impact of, the, of the old way have been washed away. So, Impact Wrestling now the Impact. used to go by, and they fused with Global Force. And wrestling. now they're fused with Global Force, because you know, Jeff Jarrett's back and everyone loves fucking Jeff Jarrett! Who's that? Uh, he's hey, a, um... He's slowly accumulating power. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, he, he's, he's the next Hitler. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, was... <laughs> he's slowly accumulating Hitler. Yeah, he's not slowly accumulating Hitlers. Oh my god. Oh, he's collecting them. 
I mean, it's all that like, exciting vision. Like, it's all like, 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 like Wonderful's yeah. gold, I guess. Oh my god. But uh, yeah, so TNA, it's no longer uh, Total Nonstop Action. They, they've gotten rid of all that brain. So you can they have renamed that himself. You can. You can say on WWE, I'm ready for some Total Monster action. Too bad, Loki's like, back with fucking impact. Exactly. <laughs> Watch uh, them now release on the network, the legacy WWE, just TNA matches. Well, they wanted to buy their library because they're like, fuck, you've been made out. They're like, yeah, Andrew Styles is really cool. Oh, look, there's Samoa Joe, he's really cool. Fuck, we can't show any of that. Well, Japan, you have the Panther. It's like a, well, they need to buy out that library as well. So, they want to buy Ring of Honor. Here's something. Why? Uh, New Japan Thanks. is actually creeping up in the ratings compared to like uh, WWE's like pay per views. So like, that has commentary. Like internet, even though they're only doing their pay per views in terms of like IPV, the internet pay per view, um, it's like they're almost making similar numbers to like some of the things like Payback or stuff like that. And I know they're not like the major pay per views for WWE, but it's like it's weird to see like. New Japan is creeping up on And I've heard they want to expand out, they want to get like um, like a New Japan, pretty much like uh, Australia sort of focus show and stuff like that, branch out. I know um, WWE is trying to go into India. Well, yeah. It's, it's one of your favourite stars are getting pushed, because you're doing your favourite superstars. They're not Hindu. Oh, he is on Hindu. But um, he's, he's, uh, he's uh, certainly something. <laughs> You know, I'm, as soon as I saw him, I was like, there's no fucking way. He has to be, uh, he has to be doing vitamins. But it's like, uh, he's still doing the thing so like And he's saying he's praised. He so, uh, vegetables. praise the who? Ellen DeGeneres was, uh, yeah. making She's jokes about, is this a Coachella band name, or is this a wrestler name? Now, I'm not sure that most of you guys know this. But there was a Coachella. Uh, Coachella's like this, uh, music festival. It, oh, that's what you were talking about the other day. Yeah, it's the other day, like, like five minutes, minutes ago. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> this week, you use your five thousand. There was once a wrestler in Japan known as Chris Benoit. Uh, he went. Who? I know, mm-hmm. right? So he had a mask and he was called the Pegasus Kid. Pegasus kid. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, now, I would have had fun with this and been like, because there's a joke running through the group how, like, Ryan doesn't, he can't differentiate certain wrestlers, and, the thing, <laughs> and so I would have put up, but no. so just, it's oh, easier for explanation. So, Ellen DeGeneres was like, is this a Coachella band name, or is this a wrestler? And she was like, Pegasus Kid. And then I was just like, you're making a reference to Chris Benoit, because this was like in the news. And then it was just like, oh, that's a wrestler, and then it comes up with a picture of Chris Benoit, and the audience starts laughing. I was like, this is really awkward for anyone that knows the history behind this. Because it's like, they made the whole Chris Benoit thing, is the, and that's the joke. Considering all the stuff that, like, do you know, you remember what he did, Maka? And his wife. And his child. Yeah. And himself. And, and, himself. and uh, like, in like a fucking steroid rage. Yes, and in like, yeah. uh, the brain of like an eight year old Alzheimer's patient. And they're just like, you know, because he used to do the flying head bump as a signature move. And yeah, so it was weird having her be like, ha oh, look at this! And it was like, him up there, and I was like, ooh. And naturally, everyone was just like, reaching out, and they're like, that's really, you, you don't know what the joke was, like, that's uh, kind of iffy. And then they were like, well, I didn't hear anything about, uh, she was like, I didn't hear anything from WWE about it. Of course you didn't. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't exist. <laughs> you see, Kevin does. He doesn't even have to find but yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on like outside of the WWE. A lot of people were just like, oh, what, uh, Ellen DeGeneres, like, her or her writers are trying to make a joke, but she hasn't been funny in years, so it's a good job. I mean, you're continuing that trend. I'm sure she's popular towards all, like, the housewives that are just like, she's you know, basically she's where memes went. go to die. I guess. <laughs> if it's on Ellen, it's dead. I suppose. Why do you watch Is that like, I'm not watching the internet, it's gone. Let's not do that. So, um, <laughs> everyone's aware of the whole deal around, I assume maybe you won't be Macca, uh, but the Broken Hardys? Yes. Ah. Okay, so the Hardy Boys have this broken gimmick, and just to summarize... Delete! Your, delete! Delete! Obsolete! So, I'm going to summarize an entire storyline of a couple of years just for you. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was magnificent. so, the whole deal is oh, like, yes. Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy, uh, they were in 
Impact Wrestling. And they were there, and they, they weren't actually there. They were in TNA at the time. Yeah, because so, as soon as they, they were never actually in Impact. <laughs> and uh, and TNA, as you know, always played second fiddle to WWE. Yeah. Um, so they have a match. All of a sudden, Matt Hardy falls on his head, and he has like a serious bump. And he comes back. He's got this white streak through his hair, and he's doing these really oh, weird dude. eccentric things. Like, for example, he's like, ah, yes. It's, he speaks like that, and he's like, what? What are you? What's the voice you're using? This is an accent that everybody uses in the future. And it's like, uh, he thinks that he goes to a zoo, and he's like, he calls a kangaroo smoking Joe Frazier. He thinks that uh, a giraffe is George Washington. Um, he, it, it's he really weird and bizarre. to fight fucking Smoking Joe? So, yeah. He, <laughs> he lost. Uh, he, okay, gay group. So he wrestled uh, uh, Jeff Hardy, his brother, to like see whether or not he was going to be made obsolete. And so he won, and so he's like, you are no longer Jeff Hardy, you are now Brother Nero, because really? I own your name, so you're Brother Nero, because it's, it's Jeff Nero Hardy, that's his actual name. It's like, so you're my Brother Nero. And uh, so he's just like, you are now obsolete. And for the, all the uh, Dude, obsolete. for all the couple of uh, matches that they would have, he would come out and he would like Jeff wouldn't say anything. He'd just carry all of Matt's stuff, and he'd be like, obsolete. Oh, and he'd just be shouting that towards Jeff. And eventually, Jeff breaks down mentally as well. And so that they both start coming out, and like uh, uh, Matt Hardy would be like, delete, and then Jeff would be like, obsolete. And, delete, and they're like really weird. I'm not going to go into it. They kind of reinvented how promos are done deletion. because they they had wrestling matches that they would film at their house, and they would have like you know there was the pool of, of the pool of resurrection. Oh, that was so he at one point he dunks Jeff. Uh, sorry, uh, Brian Nero is like now you will be reborn. What's him in? It's uh, that was it 2012. Was it that fucking that match where he was high off his face and he burst sting? And he, he was basically he was regarded as one of the worst matches ever. Um, like Steph, uh, sorry, Sting just like pins him in. He's like super fucking pissed. He's like he fucking wakes up everyone's time, really. Uh, but yeah, that um, Jeff Hardy comes out. He's like, oh no, it just puts him back under. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and there's like Itchweed, who's the guy that has a, a whippersnipper that chases people. Uh, he, he does, there's a whole bunch of weird shit. Senor Benjamin. Senor Benjamin's his gardener, and he's like, prepare the garden for deletion. And that's a, and it's just and like, he has the fucking drone. Yeah, uh, Vanguard one. one. He has Which, his wife and his son, and like, he's like only like two or three years old, and they're all part of the broken gimmick. Uh, his son pins Rockstar Spud in a wrestling match. And wins. Like they had at one point, they had Vanguard one come to. This is like for the first um, like. Uh, deletion, and it was like the uh, it was a hologram <laughs> above the drone. And he's like, ah, brother Nero, yeah. I knew you would come. <laughs> and yeah, like Jeff's chasing him around with a baseball bat, trying to smash this drone. And then you see he's just the drone flies out, and then you see uh, Matt Hardy just on this fucking right on lawnmower because Jeff's lawn is you know all spirals and what else. He's just driving over it and just <laughs> just making this like ruin this fucking thing. It's interesting. Um, so it's very like, it's never been done before. Like they film all this shit at home and then they'll air it on TV. It's basically what the Whites try to do. They ripped it off with uh, the New What's Day. The boat's name? Skarsgård. Skarsgård, the, <laughs> the dilapidated boat. It's, uh, it's will be the, was it the bringer of gold. Or something. Yeah, yeah. It, the, it's the chariot of gold. And then they bring their clothes for gold. So yeah. they're going around trying yeah, to that tag teams. That was a good fucking... And so no they become tag team champs. And then they're like, we need to make ourselves, I've had a vision, a premonition, I need to be draped in gold, we need to be have all the tag team gold, this is our quest for gold. And so they go outside of Tino and they go to like Mexico and they win the Mexican belts. Then they go to random indie scenes and they win random indie bit, like belts. They go to South America, they get South American belts. They go to Japan, they get Japanese belts. They go to fucking Ring of Honor, they get Ring of Honor belts. It and then like they show up at fucking WrestleMania and they win the tag team belts there. And they're like, we've got all these fucking tag team belts. Problem being, TNA says that they uh, and the trademark. They own the broken characters. They said, you made that here, that's ours. It's in your contract. And so here's the deal though, with all that, all those promos and all those things they did at their house, they did with Matt and Jeff's money. All the 
Signor Benjamin, his wife, and his son, obviously all related to him, they all did it for fun. He wasn't even under contract for a whole bunch of shows, he just decided to stay until they decided to renew his contract. And so when he left and he went and got all this exposure, also, this has pretty much been what's been holding down TNA, TNA for a long time. So anyway, they get let go because they're changing over into Impact instead of TNA anymore. And they're like, okay, well, we'll go to, you know, the WWE. And they're like, okay, well, guess what? You can't use any of your broken stuff. You can't do that. You can't say delete. You can't say obsolete. You can't dress as anyone. You can't do anything that the broken characters would do. So they can't be themselves. They can't be themselves, even though they came up with it. It's fucking bullshit. So they came out to the extreme, yeah, you know, the extreme party scene that they used to have. So right. like, so Jess wore his like stuff, but Matt's still got the blonde streak. Uh, he's still got like the waistcoat that he kind of wears, and ah, like down to the ring. But everyone's just like, delete, 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 just fucking just going. Everyone, it was one of the biggest pops of the night. It was really good. And so yeah. Do you think that TNA is right? Because they're like, we, you did make it here and that means it's our character. And if you remember WWE used to, or WWF used to do something similar back in the day where they're like, okay, you have to change your name if you go somewhere else. Or do you think that the Hardy should be able to keep doing what they're doing and go elsewhere? Just to let you know, because Anthem, uh, they had like a giant bird. So everyone's been, the hashtag has been going around. Fuck, fuck that out. Because they're just like, especially um, Ruby, Ruby, yeah, Ruby, sorry, she's um, she's very anti-impact. That's Matt's wife. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Um, I think they should be able to keep their characters because one is out of their own money. Two, they did it themselves, and it's like everything was just them. It's like TNA essentially had nothing to do with it. But TNA did put them on TV. TNA had nothing else. <laughs> it's true. Um, like they, um... TNA can be like, oh, we put you on there, it's like, yeah, but what else did you have? You had nothing. It's like, no one was watching you, that's why you're now gone. Yeah, and... That's why you don't exist anymore. And the fact that, like, now we're Impact and you can't use that, it's like, fuck you, you don't think. Well, yeah, it's like, um... You can go, oh, blah, blah, blah. I, got, I was really... TNA doesn't exist anymore, so... so I was yeah. really, like, sour towards fucking <coughs> Impact for doing all that kind of stuff. And it was just... It's typical Jeff Jarrett shit. Maybe. Um, I'm not sure how much of it was him involved, but I'm surprised he hasn't gone back to Mexico. Most though. of TNA is already in the WWE. We got fucking yep. All the good stuff is Bobby Roode, Samoa Joey, AJ Styles. Uh, I think uh, Eric Young mm -hmm. is in uh, NXT. Uh, even Kurt Angle, who was also in TNA, yeah. is over there. So it's like, I don't think there's. Many other people. If Mickey James is in there mm -hmm. as well. Like she's. Uh, no one had any Drew Galloway that. came back. Drew, yeah. His name is Drew McIntyre again. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I think all that they've done. Because uh, one of the things that Impact Wrestling said if you show any footage of Broken Hardies on other channels, then we'll sue you. And so, yeah, here's the thing funny. other channels actually complied. And they're like, okay, well, we won't show certain events that have the Hardys in them that are doing that broken gimmick. And they went through. That's because and they went through. Everyone online. in America is so scared of being sued because in America they'll just sue over like a copy of two pop. They spent my ten. They went <laughs> we through all their videos. videos. In that fucking documentary, it's horrific. What? <laughs> what? That was a different one. Like, like <laughs> Jesus Christ. They went through on all the videos that had, um, so it's broken. Hashtag, oh, so not hashtag, sorry, um, TM. So they had all put all the trademark stuff on it. Basically, brilliance, TM. They basically trademark everything. And, you know, as I was telling these guys, I'm like, it's probably a smart move by the Hardys because they're like, oh, yeah, we'll go to WWE. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, we'll get our lawyers on Twitch. The lawyers. Yeah, you can like it's like. Basically, you know, the Simpsons. Reads. Yeah, like the Simpsons, yeah, the, like the White House and the middle of the that's how I imagine WWE works. It's just like, send the lawyers. <laughs> it's like, whoo, they go down like the five poles. poles. Yeah, pretty much. There's always just like the one lawyer, Mr. Burns is there. Um, okay, so, question for Ryan and Jesse, and then I've got Mac to finish off the wrestling talk. Ryan, what are you thinking about the current climate of the WWE after the brain, like the brain split? It's um, like the superstar shake-up that they've done. Not yeah. the draft, 
Not the um, Interesting. Um, tell you what, fucking everyone won when they fucking traded Byron Saxon and <laughs> David Otunga. Mmm. Great. Uh, uh, they they switched. So it's like, great, we get nothing from nothing. Cool. Uh, balance it out. <laughs> But um, oh, it's, it's, it's interesting because it's just like, it was going to be like, oh great, what are they going to fucking you know, do? It's going to be the same old stories. Miz is probably going to be fighting for the Intercontinental belt, or he yeah. still will be. Because Dean he Ambrose. Always? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Dean Ambrose went over to um, Raw and so did Miz. Oh, so no, was like, that was yeah, just that's happening, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like, um, they, but they brought up a few people like Shinsuke Nakamura's on SmackDown now. Uh, now you can chose Nakamura in front of more people. You got uh, Ty Jones here. I know I've said this before, but isn't it weird like how we were watching like the New Japan show like all those years ago, and then Shinsuke Nakamura was there, and now he's like in the WWE. What was it? Um, Seth Rollins is trying a new finish, and everyone's comparing it to the fucking Rainmaker. Oh, the yeah, I'm like, close one. Yeah, but it's with a jumping knee. Instead. Yeah, he holds up and he spins around. <laughs> you stand there and money falls down. <laughs> That's bro. It's, it's, it's trash. Made me that is beautiful. But yeah, uh, so it, it's it's interesting. Second. I think you know it's a lot better post WrestleMania than it was. Rainmakers in pre WrestleMania because. That's cool. No, he is. He is. Uh, really? King, King has a Rainmaker's uh, outfit and he, when he wins, all the money comes down like Rainmaker and it comes up with the King face on the money. So they did a cross promotion and Rainmaker. And they had and, a Bullet Club and stuff like that. And like, yeah, Brian's part of the Bullet Club and uh, King, yeah, he has all the Rainmaker's stuff and he has like the massive Lariat finisher that he does as his super move. Nice. But yeah. And I see you wearing the Kevin Owens shirt. Yes. Face of America. Uh, Face of America. How do you feel about him going to SmackDown? I'm fine with that. Um, I'm like, it's like, cool, Rusev is going there. And apparently I've been hearing rumors, yo, that the big push for your favorite, Jinder Mahal, apparently that was meant for Rusev. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. My Indian warrior. Oh, God. I'm an Indian warrior. Great. <laughs> Don't kinder, Jinder. Uh, they've um, signed that, what was it, the Bollywood Boys? I think they were the Bollywood, Bollywood Boys. But now they're going to call the Sing Brothers because they can't use the Bollywood Boys. They can't sing. It's a gimmick. It's a joke. It's a joke. Sure. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, it's, it's interesting. It's like, yeah, different matchups. So what like about Jinder? Jinder? <laughs> just, just cut. I'll do that right just for you. Don't worry, Ryan. Right? Okay. But yeah. I, it's, it's, it's... But tuck a knife. Yeah, what about heavy machinery? <laughs> when will they get their push? No, I hope they No, I was going to say, what about they those fucking mechanics? No. No. That's, that's a different thing. Alright, so you think the yeah. Superstar shape up is interesting? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, you're getting new matchups, it's not the same shit. Too bad fucking... Brock Lesnar wins in the uh, Universal Belt. He's like literally fucked off for a month. He's like, I can't be there. Good thing we got. Yeah. It's the patch notes of WWE. But that's not like that's not Brock's fault. I mean, that's WWE for saying, "Oh, we're going to pay you this much because we don't want to go over the salary limit." And then he's like, "Okay, but it costs this much per appearance." And then WWE's <laughs> like, "Yeah, all right. If they made that agreement, that's on them, not on Brock." It's fine. What would have shaved Roman Reigns? Fucking Roman Reigns is getting out. <laughs> we'll get we'll get into that. Okay. Uh, Jesse, of the whole shake-up thing. Uh, you've been the biggest proponent of Miz. You like his uh, his version of John Cena. Yeah. Um, but what I was actually going to ask you is, in combined with the shakeup, is there anyone in NXT's tag team division which they're really trying to build up to go onto the main roster that you would be happy seeing appear on the main roster? Uh, that was like one. I can't remember who they are. Could you like explain them, and I'll try and fill in the blanks. They were in that match. TM six one. That thing. No. Uh. DIY? No, the other, no, the other one. Walters of Pain. Walters of Pain! Looks like you're going to be waiting a long time, boy. They're okay, cool guys. I love them. Yeah, you got no, Paul. And of the... Uh, are you happy that Ryan's team, the Revival, made it up to... I'm going to do shit on 
Uh, and uh, well, because one of them is going to be out of action because he fucking broke his jaw. For, so it's like they're not going to be, you know. It's so like, yeah. Mm. yeah. There we go. Yeah. So yeah. when the revival come out, it just says say yeah, and then everyone in the crowd's supposed to be like yeah. So now I'm just say like, say yeah, and the guy with the broken jaw. <laughs> 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 um, but they were instantly over with Jesse and I. Because they fucking kicked over over yeah, the yeah, yeah. popsicle stand. So yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah, but did they flip a fucking ambulance that shit? They did not. Braun Strowman did. With Roman Reigns in it. He also threw police though. Yeah, yeah into trash. Yeah. Rubbish, yeah. <laughs> also known as the cruiserweight division, I've heard. Ooh, into the trash, yep. <laughs> Well, when you, when you don't fucking like don't fucking promote it, it's there's like only one person worth watching in the Cruiserweight division, and it's not Austin X. Oh, who's just it's fucking Neville? That's all you're gonna say, Neville. Fucking it's because Neville, it's because everyone knows that Neville is the only person worth watching in the fucking Cruiserweight. And then he's what? just a goat. He's good when he's first Neville. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They, um, but yeah, it's the WWE's own fault, they've come out with statistics, they're like, oh, the fucking cruiserweights are failing. It's like, well, no shit, when you give them fucking five minutes and say, don't do the flippy shit. It's just like, <laughs> then they're like, <sighs> the only way they're getting people, because they filmed 205 Live back after uh, Smackdown. So that's two hours you're sitting through, and then you've got like another hour, and they're just like, people like, fuck, you mean like a three home. hour roar? Pretty much. So what they do is they go, we're going to have a dark match, and of late, it's, it's fucking Shinsuke Nakamura is going to be in a dark match, and people are like, fuck, now I'm going to stay away, just, you know, stay awake through this. <laughs> so, uh, and you, obviously the scene gimmick's over with you. Oh, I can't even look. It's good. 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 John Cena is still worth picking on, so fucking. <laughs> what was it? They had like, gonna be worth picking on. They had when, uh, like, they said the superstar shake up, they had, like, fucking John Cena's music hit, and everyone's like, oh my yeah, fucking god, they're fucking dumb. Like, Miz and Maurice coming. This dumb run out, it's amazing. The yeah. way he stands and just fucking shoves his butt out, it looks like he's like that fucking old man who stands on his head. And we're gonna finish our discussion with, uh, Macca, uh-uh. because, uh, there's. there's Good evidence to suggest that maybe The Undertaker's wrestled his last match. Good, he's old. There we go, that's all. So do you think that his legacy was tarnished by continuing on after the streak? Or... A little bit. And what would you have preferred, like? I would have preferred that he stopped when his streak stopped. Against because Brock Lesnar, yeah. Well, I mean, I wish Brock Lesnar had won. If anyone had to take the streak, who would you have preferred? Oh, it would have been this generation's Bray Wyatt. He does, I don't think he gets our joke where it's just like, so they said that Bray Wyatt was this generation's Undertaker, and then Baron Corbin came up, and they're just like, wow, he's really making an impact like other people, like Bray Wyatt. So I'm like, okay, so he's so they called Baron Corbin this generation's <laughs> Bray Wyatt, and then who are they getting? Fucking, there's a new guy, uh, Alistair Black. Yeah. Alistair Black is this generation's. This yeah. generation's, <laughs> last generation's, this generation's, last generation's Undertaker. What? Yeah, that's why he says it harder. Because he's a dude that's coming out with all the uh, creepy golf stuff, isn't he? He grew up in the church. That's all we know. Hey, what's that? There's one. So, uh, Bray Wyatt, last generation's Undertaker. Brown Corman, this generation's, last generation's Undertaker. Uh, this, uh, this new guy. This generation's last generation's this generation. This generation's last generation's. Okay. It would be kind of easier to say uh, basically this generation's Baron Corbin. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so Undertaker uh, is retired by Roman Reigns. Get retired on. I just don't like Roman Reigns. You and half the WWE. Are I don't like Roman. I, I don't like, like him. Like he's, like he's, he's, he's a piece of shit now. That's what that's what he was aiming. Did you say you liked him in Shield. I said yeah. I haven't liked him since Shield. Shield. Oh, that's that's, that's, that's what was introduced, man. Yeah, exactly. I haven't liked him from the get go. So well, yeah, nothing has changed. I feel a little hipster hater. I no, I recall Mac being being uh, Shield sucks. Shield sucks. Yeah, he's so much until I was horse. Yeah, that poor horse. 
But no, he was horse. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a long face. So, this is interesting. You like Roman. You don't like Roman. Uh, I've already said who I like from the shield. <laughs> well, no, what's your opinion on Roman, though? Roman, I'm like, I don't care. They, they're not booking him right. I mean, maybe they're, now they're booking him right. Exactly. But fucking Braun Strowman's getting fucking baby face pops. He's like, well, I guess this is my fucking yard now. And it was like, yeah, it's your fucking yard, bro. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing it. They're, they're doing it. He's just like, yeah, I fucking hostilize fucking. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're doing it. I, I care about neither of those Braun Strowman, they're doing like a uh, spit show. Sure. Well, I was going to say, like, oh, fuck, oh. hopefully he doesn't fall off the building. When you, and then Eric Bischoff's like, no, Eric Bischoff, we fucking know. We know it. We've solved, we've solved that riddle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just lost me. To Eric Bishop, we know. <laughs> Did he ever get back to you? Why would he? No. So, so let's just say, say you're on Facebook. Some random dude you don't know just says, we know. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ignore. This dude's <laughs> fucking weird. <laughs> oh no, he knows. Yeah, like, I'd be like, like I goes, know. quickly goes behind his portrait, opens up the veil, like this whole fucking vault thing, looks inside, yeah, and said it was and like, this picture of like Big Show hanging on to the like, It's board. a tape that just says what happened to Big <laughs> Show. Question mark? No, the truth. <laughs> just, <laughs> just the truth. But how? Yeah, still here. <laughs> Fuck you, though. Um, I think that Roman Reigns is how you do a modern heel. Yeah. I think that's the only way you can do a heel these days without uh, people legitimately going for them. Uh, and I'm not meaning to say that you know, I really like the fucking booking of Roman. I really like fucking flipping hair and just clotheslining everyone until cows come Probably Probably fans are too smart these days. Yeah, and it's like they know that fans are going to be like, oh, he's being pushed as a face. People don't know what they want, hey, so you should make the suit for pushed as a face. So we'll boo him. And then they put him as a heel, which is what we want. Man, fans are so <laughs> smart these days. We've <laughs> <laughs> been saying that for so long, but it's like, you don't, it's like, people are like, boo, we want this. It's like, no, don't give them what they want. Because don't they'll complain. Anything. Just sit on your hands. you be like, they'll then complain when you give them what they want. They'll be like, no, it's not general. Because it's like, oh, look, we're getting a reaction. That's what this fucking business is about. It's like so many people that are like really good. Uh, it all comes down to like, who's your favourites, I suppose. Because like, if you have a favourite wrestling, you're going to, Watch them for one reason or another, and you can consider them to be the best. Okay, the five, the five trillion powers. Five hundred trillion powers, which is fucking dirty and Titanic Tim from the Capcom uh, Saturday Night Slam Masters and Street Fighter. That was Stuart's uh, brainwashing that thing. Okay. Um, I didn't tell him to bring that up. I just mentioned to him that Birdie was part of a wrestling tag team. See, that's all you needed. See, <laughs> and then the fucking drugs of the rest. There we go. Broke into it. <laughs>